Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to reverse a list. So there's probably two scenarios when you need to do this. One is you're doing it for some work project and you just need it reversed and in that situation there's a very simple method you can use or the other option is you can actually implement a reverse function on your own and I'm going to be showing you the algorithm on how to do that in the next video. So this one's going to be the real simple one and if you need the extra juicy details then go check out the next video. Alright, so when you have a list each thing is sequential, right? So the order does matter for a list. This is different than the other data structures such as a set, which are unordered. So when you are working with a list, you might need to reverse it. And if you want to do that, all you have to do is say data.reverse, and it doesn't take any data, and it doesn't return anything either. So because it doesn't return anything, it's safe to assume that the actual list itself is modified. So when you do this, you can then print data like so and you'll get the reverse list nice and simple now if for some reason you had a list inside of this list so let's just say one two three inside of another list here running this notice that that list itself does not get reversed it stays one two three so it just takes that list as an entire entity and moves it to the front just keep that in mind if you need to reverse everything, maybe there's a special function out there, or you might just need to iterate through any sublist, checking to see if it's a list. But we're not gonna get into that right now, so we're just gonna stick with a simple list. And the thing that I just wanted to call out here is that when you have a method that doesn't return anything, which you can see in Visual Studio here with this arrow none, you can't use that within a print, because the thing passed to the print is whatever is returned. So if you were trying to run this to print the reverse, and you tried this here, and we'll just temporarily comment this out, running this and you get none. That's because the actual list is modified, not a new list is returned, and then you're pretty much just printing nothing. If instead you wanted to work with a copy and not modify the original, first just make a copy. So you'd say data copy, and then just make a copy of it by doing this. And then you would say data underscore copy dot reverse. And now you have both available to you so you can get the original or you can get the copy. Running this just to prove it to you, here is the original one, zero through five, and this is the updated version, the copied version, where we go five to zero. So that is the reverse method. In the next video, I'm gonna be creating a reverse algorithm, and that should be pretty cool because algorithms is a pretty fun subject. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you there.